I've seen a lot of you Grambling fans out there saying, hey, guys, don't count us out just yet. We still got some things that's brewing over here. Just give us a chance. Coach Farms is going to find a way to right this ship. And, guys, you know what? You might be right. You already know. There's some rumblings right now. There's some things. There's, some, there's a little few shakeups going on out there where you're going to see some changes that's getting ready to happen. You know, there's of course, there's going to be another change that's going to happen to the coaching staff. And guess what? Y'all might have some extra players getting ready to come on board as well. You know your favorite coach is back at it again. Ten toes down. I'm about to tell you how it all went down. But first, welcome back to Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walken. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. That's right, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Comment on these videos. Not to mention share these videos. Hit that notification bell so you can get all these videos. Guys, hey, I appreciate all of you out there for rocking with me. Let's continue to keep kicking this dag on YouTube algorithm in the behind. Letting them know that we're putting out some content out that everybody's beginning to enjoy. And have a good time with it, guys. But do me a huge favor. Tap in a friend. Two, three, four, or five. Tell them to come on in. It's not but positive vibes. We're just having a good time. Talk about some HBCU sports over here. So without further ado, we're going to tap in. We're going to jump on in this thing, and we're just going to tell you just how it all went down. But yes, guys, you, if you haven't already, hey, listen, you guys already know the backdrop for all of this right here as far as what has taken place with Grambling State since the spring ended. Yes, you know, throughout the spring they had their, they had different things that went on. You had coaches leaving. You had two coaches that left, losing Coach Nor and Coach Orlando, who were the offensive coordinators of Grambling State. And now you lose, the, you lose your starting quarterback to Bethune-Cookman in the uh, transfer portal. Now you got the defensive back, McCoskas. He decides he's going to leave and go become an offensive coordinator at a high school in, I believe, uh, Miami, Florida. Coach Fobbs got in. Coach Fobbs got in a new offensive coordinator, Coach Marty. That's going to bring in some some wrinkles to their offense. So even though that they did lose the two offensive coordinator, Coach Marty's going to come in and put some things in place. And like I said, I know a lot of you out there be like, "Hey, Coach Marty's offense wasn't all that great. They didn't really play against any competition, and you know a lot of the plays that he's going to run is not going to work." Guys, how do you know what's going to work until you actually see it out there on the field with Grambling running the offense? That's all I'm saying. Let's give it a chance to see what's going on before we want to go ahead and start cutting everybody down at the ankle, saying, "Hey." This gonna work, that's gonna work, so on and so forth. Again, we all have we all have our opinions, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just simply stating what I think. And that and that's fine. You can agree to disagree. But I'll be honest with you. Yes, um uh, Coach Fobbs found some much Coach Fobbs found some much needed help on that offensive line. Hey, you all you can never go wrong with getting offensive linemen. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you right now. But Coach Fobbs got him an offensive lineman from Kent State. Uh, six foot four, 290 pounds, Tyler Thomas. That's right. He's an offensive guard that's going to come in and help them out on the offensive line. Yes, uh, Tony Force, uh, six foot four, 235 pound, uh, tight end from the University of Central Florida. Hey, I said before, Coach Marty loves to run that, uh, tight end driven offense. So him having another tight end at his disposal for him to run that offense, guys, what can you, what more can you say? Again, we just got to wait and see how this offense is going to take place out there and what exactly um just how just just how this 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 defense excuse me this tight end driven uh offense that he likes to run how much of a disadvantage is it going to become against some of these other teams that they're going to play. Like I said, I can't wait till the fall get here. I am wanting this fall season to come on right now. But you know what? With the good comes the bad and you already know if you if you don't remember, and I think I mentioned it already, that uh, McCoskis is leaving to go uh, coach at uh, a high school in Florida. He's the defensive back coach for Grambling Tigers. He's out of there. He's going to coach at a uh, high school in Florida. But you know what? That's not stopping Coach Fobb from continuing to keep moving forward to build his program. So I guess that's going to be another coach that's going to have to step into a role to further help this program move in the direction in which he's looking to take it. But let, look. Coach Fobb letting you know right now, he ain't sitting down. He ain't sitting back. He's out here trying to move things forward to continue to keep moving that Grambling Tigers program in the right direction. But so all I'm going to say to you is this, just wait for the finished product. That's all I'm saying. The spring has come and gone. Just wait for the finished product in the fall, and let's see what he can do with it. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. That's right. Subscribe to the channel. And remember, guys, be the one and lead.